day go. Hey, here we are at Tip Top. For <laughs> Tip Top Coffee. Tip Top Coffee. In Thomas, West Virginia. Yeah. We had our second show. Last night at the Blue Fiddle. <laughs> it's not even right, it's Purple Fiddle. Most memorable. Yeah. Um, well, I think I think what was most memorable was the concept behind it and your approach to it. Because oftentimes, the way that I've interacted and probably a lot of other people have interacted with classical music, it's often very. I don't say this negatively, but highbrow. Mm -hmm. And. It's really fun to interact with it in a different in a different way. Yeah. Yeah. So I, mean, I like, think that was probably the most memorable. But that's crazy to say because your playing was just like <laughs> No. Have do you often get piano concerts in this town? No. Do you get classical music in this town? No. What's Not the very last time yeah, there are those two different worlds. Yeah. And the fact that it was so interactive and that it was like a living, breathing piece and that it was moving and the cast was rotating in and out mm -hmm. and that you were kind of orchestrating that in conjunction with the music that you were doing, I thought was really beautiful. Mm -hmm. This silversmith here is local, Sarah Walters. Um, our friend Kenny, mm -hmm. who was at your show last night, yeah. he whittles these, <laughs> these sweet spoons. So we're going to Kingwood, West Virginia, Preston Community Arts Center. Um, the Arts Center seems really vibrant, like they do all sorts of different events, um, a lot of live shows. But actually I know nothing about Kingwood. I tried to Google it yesterday. The first thing that came up was our show, so that wasn't helpful. <laughs> or maybe it will be. <laughs> so yeah, I'm excited to see what it'll be like. I Yeah, this is probably the place I know least about. Here we are, the Preston Community Arts Center. This is Daniel, trying to transform this space. Wow, it already looks so much different from when we came in. It was just like a ginormous... It was like a meeting room town reading room in here when we first got here. Daniel working his magic. I really do not know anything about this town. There are some people who let us in here, but they were also kind of mysterious and then they ran away. So maybe there will be like two people here. Who knows? Cool lighting though. Is it close? It is close. It's pretty big up than we thought. Monday. Oh. Sunday, Monday. 
Oh. He's usually open when we have events here. Okay. It looked like it was up for sale, so I was wondering if it was. It is still open. But it's just, still it's open. just open, like they said, just Tuesday through Saturday. I okay. Saturday. I could have really used some coffee. <laughs> 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 um, okay. And how would you describe the people of Kingwood? I are very friendly. Yeah. A little bit more laid back than most places. Okay. That's changing too. Yeah. <laughs> and do you think Kingwood is different from other parts of West Virginia? Yeah, it's more modern. Hey, Mickey, what are you doing? I'm a goddamn piano stand, please. <laughs> How was the show tonight? It was so fun! Yeah. Thank you.